Hello, Pastor David McKinley here from Central Schwenkfelder Church. You know, this Sunday we are going to be uh, looking at uh, passages of Scripture that have to do with work, rest, and worship. We're getting ready to celebrate the Labor Day holiday, and it's a holiday that everyone enjoys, informally marking the end of the summer and an extra day off from work and a holiday since I think 1894 we have celebrated Labor Day the first Monday in September as a day to honor those who work in our country and you know the subject of work has always fascinated me as far as best practices and uh, how people approach their work the attitude surrounding uh, their professions I've had the pleasure of um, interviewing many families uh, in the wake of uh, the passing of a loved one and they talk about their loved one's work and what they thought of their profession and how they took pride in their work and it's a very fulfilling uh, question that I a ask uh, each family about their loved one but I should say that we are not defined by what we do too often times when say fellas get together and uh, if they're in an engagement where no one knows uh, each other, uh, in introducing oneself, it usually is followed up by the question, oh, what do you do? And too often, especially men, define ourselves by what we do, sometimes by how much money we make. And that's wrong. In fact, our identity should be not in what we do, but who we are especially who we are in Christ. I'd like to read to you a passage of Scripture that uh, has to do with the subject of work. Uh, it is uh, from the book of Colossians, this letter from Paul to the church in the city of Colossae. And it was uh, a cyclical letter, something that was passed around to many churches in that area. But this is what Paul has to say. He says, Slaves, in all things obey those who are your masters on earth, not with external service as those who merely please men, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, do your work heartily, as for the Lord rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. It is the Lord Christ whom you serve. Have you ever thought about how in your job you are not serving your employer as much as you are serving Christ? He is your ultimate employer. He is the one that gives you your job, your profession, your calling, uh, the gifts that you have, the education that you've acquired. All of these come ultimately from God. And so as we work in our jobs and put forth our efforts, uh, it's good to know that we do it unto the Lord as if it were an offering. Now, uh, there is a sizable number in uh, our congregation that are no longer working. They have uh, hung up their stirrups. They have uh, enjoyed uh, careers as teachers, as accountants, as public servants, as nurses, as a myriad of roles in the professional working world. Um, and so, uh, how does this apply to them? Uh, certainly, God is the one that gives us our jobs, and uh, serving Him in them uh, then enables us to retire and to spend our days uh, doing other things like volunteering. Uh, there's uh, a number of our retirees that volunteer at the Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center. Others volunteer with the American Red Cross. Um, and still others might volunteer with other organizations. My point is, is that work is good. Uh, it's something that uh, God has given us to use our brains, to use our talents, and to give. Um, work is a way of giving back. 
And so I pray that this encourages you, whether you are um, training for your future career, whether you are in your career and maybe you're at a job that you don't necessarily enjoy, but uh, you're in the grind and you uh, turn out uh, day in and day out to do your best, or if you're retired, know that the Lord is watching you and He loves you and He wants you to give forth your very best because that is a witness to Him. Well, may the Lord bless you. I hope to see you in worship this Sunday. Of course, 9 a.m. is our traditional in the sanctuary. 10.45 a.m. is our contemporary service in Fellowship Hall. And I hope you have a blessed holiday weekend.